Hi, I'm Kyle Brown with Claw Hammer Supply. Thank you very much for purchasing a Moonshine Still Kit from us. In this video, we are going to show you how to assemble this 5 gallon still here. Uh, this video applies to the 5 and the 10 gallon stills. Although the stills are different sizes, the process for assembling them is the same. Um, we strongly suggest that you watch the entire video start to finish before beginning your project. And if at any time you have additional questions, you could also you could always go to our website www.clawhammersupply.com for more information and resources. Have fun and good luck. All right, before we get started, let's talk about safety. We're going to be using a torch. Um, we're going to be handling copper that may have burrs on it, some sharp edges. So anytime you're using a torch or handling the copper, you're going to be wearing a pair of gloves. Um, safety glasses. Uh, we're going to be hammering things. Uh, when you solder, uh, the flux might boil a little bit and splash up. So I always want to be wearing safety glasses. And finally, uh, a VFC mask. You're going to want to wear your mask when you're soldering, and I would also suggest that you don't solder anything in, in the closed area. Make sure you have good ventilation. All right, let's talk about some tools. Um, you're going to need pliers, hammers, um, something to, to, to hammer against. Uh, you can go out and buy specialty tools at auto uh, parts supply stores or Home Depot uh, or whatever. Whatever. You could also just use common tools that you probably have laying around the house. So we'll talk a little bit about each type of tool and the different options you have. First, you're going to need a set of locking pliers or uh, vice grips. Uh, little guys, needle nose, um, bigger vice grips, um, even even some sort of C-clamp vice grips like these are handy. Um, you probably have something like this laying around the house. This is going to be the best tool to use for the job, but even something like this is going to uh, get the job done for you. Hammer, you could use a regular framing hammer if you have one laying around. Uh, preferably not an actual framing hammer, something with a flat surface on the front, just some sort of a claw hammer. Anything you have laying around the house that's going to pound a rivet flat it will work. Ideally, uh, a ball peen hammer for body work and other, other similar work would be the ideal tool to use. A mace, um, <clears throat> or just any sort of solid metal surface to hammer against. So if you have a, a, a solid metal table, a body mace like this, uh, an anvil, and a vise if you have one with a, with a hammering surface, and even um, even a sledgehammer or just a, a bigger hammer, if you can secure it some, somehow or even just laying this on the table and hammering against it is going to get the job done for you. Ideally, this is going to be the tool that you want to pick up. Most of the edges on your parts are going to be roughed up already, um, but as you work with it, it, they might get corroded a bit. A, a, a wire brush of some sort is going to it's going to be the ideal tool for roughing up the ed an edge of copper before you solder it. Sandpaper will work just just as well though. You're going to need uh, something to bend the tabs with on the bottom of the boiler. Even a, just a, a standard pair of channel lock pliers would do the job. You're going to see me using um, some four-inch sheet metal pliers to bend the tabs with. It makes it go a little bit quicker. This this will get the job done though. 